Hi, welcome to Honey Eye. Here we are, March 17th, opening day. It's a kind of a family tradition. We try to come down to Honey Hut to get our green whipped cream and our favorite dessert. Some of us from Parma Heights and the rest of us from Worcester, Ohio, which is about 60 miles away. And this is so much of a tradition that I have a brother and a sister that both live out of state. My brother in Virginia, my sister in California. It's kind of a toss up whether they like craft beers or Honey Hut ice cream better because I think actually they stop Honey Hut ice cream before they stop for the craft beer. I pull up front of the, the um, jewelry store. I let up the truck. I put on plastic gloves. Oh my. <laughs> and I'm going, if the cops go by right about now, <laughs> yeah, right. they're going to think this is a break in. Or right. Or you're dealing something <laughs> yeah, else. Right. right. You know, drug dealing or something. All right. So, no, but yeah, it got a little out of control. I mean, I, I think this is the biggest ever. I, I, that's what I heard. Yeah. yeah. My name is Mary Ann Page, and I was here when it started in 1974. He was a fireman, and he just went every day to the fire station up here to Pearl Road. He came home one day, and he says, Bruno's shoe store repair is for sale, and I want to buy it to make ice cream there. After we were open, well, that summer, some people would come up and say, I came here for my shoes. Sorry, there are no shoes in this store. This is just all ice cream. At that time, it was frozen custard, soft serve. And we'd put a sign out on the tree lawn, you know. And it was called Danny's at that time. And um, the city said, you can't put a sign out on the tree lawn. <laughs> so it was like, OK, I guess we just have to do with people knowing what this little store was now, ice cream. So people had come up and want an ice cream. Okay, give them the soft serve. No, that's not what I wanted. I want the hard ice cream. Okay, dump the soft serve, dump the soft serve. Till we find said, okay, this is not working. We're losing too much. We got to just go with one thing. And that's when we decided then to go with the hard ice cream. And we went down to an ice cream convention in Florida. At this convention, they had um, the honey, orange blossom honey, and that's when he decided to make the sweetener with the honey. With all the family and everything involved, um, I, I hope it stays for a long time with all the kids involved, because now everybody is involved. And um, I, I hope it continues to be the success that it is. I'm a real big crybaby. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bruce, Bruce Page. My title is president. I basically wear all different hats at this company. I've been here since 1980, full time. He said 37 years, still going strong. Bruce Page, Bruce, you guys have been here for 25 years. What's your secret? Our secret ingredients, milk, cream, honey, but the best, the very best grade A product you could buy. And then we freeze it. As soon as we make it, that morning, we're so busy this time of year, every day we're swamped. We'll be gone by the end of the night. We have to start over again in the morning. So you guys are really going to get well, Briars to run for the money, right? Briars, some, someday we'll buy them out. <laughs> Back in the 80s, of course, they all had their own full-time career. Uh, for example, Brian was in the steel mill. Mark was a welder. My sister, Marcia, was in banking. And uh, Sharon was a teacher. My name is Brian Page, and I am the purchasing agent for the Honey Hut Ice Cream Shop and the catering coordinator for off-site catering. I started working here in 1974 when it was Bruno's Shoe Store and I started out doing the remodeling of the ice cream store. My son makes ice cream, Eric, and I have a daughter, Carrie, that she used to scoop here, but now she works in Brecksville and she does some work at the Brunswick store. My name is Mark Page. 
a manager Honey Hut ice cream shop. I was 22 years old when I first started working for my dad. Took a little break in the 80s, but been back a long time. I have three stepchildren, and they've all worked here. Moved on, and now their kids have worked here and moved on. My name is Sharon Thomas. Um, I, my maiden name was Sharon Page. Uh, my official job title, uh, I would say ice cream maker extraordinaire. I started working here when, pretty much when my parents started the, sh the business. Then I worked all through my teen years until I graduated college. I went to Cleveland State. And I didn't work for Honey Hut until I retired from teaching and came back here uh, last summer. All five stores, all the ice cream is made here in this plant and then it is shipped out uh, not a daily basis, but every, you know, every few days as needed. During the high season in the summer, uh, we produce, I would say about 200 buckets of ice cream. My coworker Nilda is so awesome. I just love her. Um, it's fun to come to work every day. We have a good time. My daughter is Rachel. She's 23. She worked making ice cream, like what I do now. My son is 26. His name is Rob. He's been working for Honey Hut since he was 16, so about 10 years. Um, he started out doing whatever needed to be done, and he slowly has taken over uh, kind of managing the dairy plant and uh, knowing what needs to be made for each day and making deliveries and uh, checking you know, the other stores. What do they have in stock? What do they need? My name is Kevin Page. I am the supervisor at the Tholen store. I usually come in and then I check the inventory to see um, what I need to take from here to Solon because if they don't need a big delivery like ice cream trucks, then they won't um, bring like the ice cream truck all the way out there if I'm going out there anyway. Like today, all we need is bananas and drink carriers, so I'll go pick those up next door. Uh, the future endeavors of myself would probably be to take over what my dad does and he um, goes to all the different stores. He doesn't really work out front anymore. On occasion he does, but um, for the most part, he just kind of goes around, makes sure everything's running smoothly, makes sure there's no mishaps with employees and all that kind of stuff. We started just with this one store and we expanded other stores, of course. And I'll, I'll show you the original window. Hello, can I help you? You know, here's, yes, uh, milkshake, it's coming right up. It was so tiny, it probably wouldn't even have fit through. But um, that's our monster milkshake. I call it a monster milkshake. No one else calls it that. I think they use fancy words like extra large. So we originally uh, had, had an opening in 19, uh, 1995 uh, with the Cleveland Metro Parks. And they, they weren't quite ready for us. We put the nice bid in, but we didn't get it. But then finally in 2000, uh, they accepted us and we started operating the food stand at uh, Huntington Beach in Bay Village. So we were there for 10 years. They wanted uh, the hands on all the food vendors. So now we, we supply them with the ice cream tubs, but we don't do the actual operation of that food stand. We're very fortunate. We're lucky to have continued family members uh, apply for a job here of a previous worker, either their mom or their sibling. And so uh, those applications get a nice red star when we look at it. Um, so we hire kids in high school, uh, their first time job, and currently some of them uh, with a, you know, with a buck, a uh, dollar fifty an hour tip sometimes, uh, along with their minimum wage, it's near ten bucks an hour, which is kind of nice for a high school kid. Our stores are all company owned, of course. Um, franchising in the future is a great goal. Um, at this point, we're, we're thinking really big. You'll see Honey Hut's nationwide. Uh, just yesterday, a customer with Davy Tree Company says, I'm moving to Phoenix and I want to open a Honey Hut. How can we pull this off? I told him we're not quite ready, but we are growing uh, with more stores and more outlets. Uh, for example, in the winter, we sell our ice cream at a couple far, uh, food markets, Chupa's Marketplace in Parma and also Miles Farmer's Market in Solon. And so, and we also do catering events, a lot of weddings. Now that I think about it, a lot of our managers that get married, uh, we end up catering their ice cream for their weddings. Our flavors, of course, are very, artis uh, very artisan style. Each tub, each bucket that we sell 
is made by hand. Um, it's not a mass-produced conveyor. Ooh, we, we've won awards, thank goodness. Uh, people like us. Everyone likes ice cream, yes indeed they do. Everyone likes ice cream, I do. Hi, and welcome back to my One Scoop special. Hey, we're at the Honey Hut Ice Cream Stand on State Road in Cleveland. We won several uh, awards. My One of our favorite ones was uh, the Cleveland.com Cleveland Plain Dealer Award that was in 2012. It was a voting of Northeast Ohio of all the ice cream shops and it paired down, you know, from 100 down to 50, down to six, uh, down to two, and then they had a contest. That it rolled out on Friday Magazine that we were the winner of the best ice cream. So I was at the gas station uh, uh, pumping my gas and he called me and said, do you keep this secret, Bruce? Don't tell nobody that you're the winner. I'm like, oh, no way. Shut the gas off. Woo. Never stopped you before your arena. I know. <laughs> and there's not one family member yet that it bothered us down deep in front of people. I have cancer. When I was first diagnosed, I started losing weight. I couldn't get weight put back on. I couldn't put weight back on. I was trying and eating stuff and just no appetite, nothing. I have honey nuts to thank for. It's like miracles. Um, I tried every kind of his favorite food, stuffed cabbage, uh, stuffed peppers, but I started giving him the honey nuts. That's where my weight started. Really to look forward to. <laughs> I look forward to this daily. <laughs> it's like. You know, when you're cooked up in the house, you can't go any place, you can't go on trips because of oxygen and because of the disability. Um, when you have something to look forward to, it's just it's so much better. And some people may say, I look forward to going to the Bahamas. Or I look our dairy plant factory. Ooh very rare place for people to visit. So the Cleveland State students are very fortunate. They owe me a big favor. They owe me a cold glass of beer. My personal legacy, I think, from here on in, um, on the back half of my career, is uh, to make sure that the business is gonna continue for the next 44 years. Um, so whatever that means, there's a lot of, there's a big meaning behind that. Whatever it takes uh, to pull that off, to make sure it's going to the proper people and they're gonna follow the follow steps that my, my parents set up, I think we'll be fine and then uh, I'll be able to sleep at night. When I go home at 5 p.m., I could just rest at ease knowing the store is run by the world's greatest crew. These guys are so talented. When they apply, we see their, we snag them quick before someone else grabs them. When we see their extracurricular activities, we hire them quick before another company grabs them. And it's so valuable that I could just rest at night every evening knowing the store's operating a perfect professionally. And thank you very much. It's been a pleasure working with Cleveland State on this documentary.